In this lecture, we will see how to establish the relationship between employees table and the company's table. Now I have opened PG Admin. I'll go to Postgres DB database. Go to schemas, public schema under the tables. Here there are two tables, companies and the employees. Go to employees table. Here we have four columns, ID, name, company and address. There are no constraints defined. In the companies table, there are three columns, ID, company name and the country. And here also there are no constraints. Now we will establish the relationship between employees table and the company table. The company field in the employees will refer the ID field in the company's table. For that, we need to first make this ID as the primary key for this table. Then from this table, we can refer this ID. This ID becomes foreign key for the employees table. Now, before doing that, let's check the data type of both the fields like company and ID should be of the same data type. I'll open employees table properties, columns, here the company field is character varying data type. I'll go to companies, columns, columns, here the ID is character varying, it is and also it's showing array here. It's of different type. Now we will make this as same as character varying only, not array. I'll delete this field and create the new one ID of type character varying here. It's a not null and save the changes. Refresh. Now go to properties again and go to columns and make this ID as the primary key. Save. Now you can check the constraints here. Now this is added as a primary key, ID as the primary key now. Now, let's go to employees table to establish the relation to this ID here from company here. I'll go to employees, properties, constraints, here foreign key we have to establish with the company's table, add the plus sign. Now, columns, here the local column is company from this table company references to company's table which field that is id field here now we'll give the name for this company name ref1 click add here now you can see this got added name columns from company to ID, from company employees table to ID field of companies. It's referring here. Reference table is companies here. Now save the changes. Now you can see the constraints here. I refresh this. Now you can see foreign key constraints added here. You can check here local company reference ID and reference table is companies. Now we will insert the data into the table. I'll go to companies table, script, insert script, insert into public schema name dot companies, then the column names, then the values. I'll give value should be in the single quote, then company name I'll give 
as it should be an array company one comma company two here and same way country also we have the array here country one comma country two and the id i'll give as this is character it's not the array a one 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 now execute this script it returned successfully now i'll check the table data we can see this data now it's array character varying array character varying array and it is a character now we'll go and insert data into the employees table i'll open the script insert script for this insert into public dot employees then the id name company address are the columns and the values here i'll give id as e one 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 here name employee name e name one then the company here I should give the company ID this ID here before that I'll give some other ID here let's see what happens and address valid address addr1 now I'll run this script you can see the error here error says key company this one 123 we are passing 123 for company is not present in table companies because this company field is referred to the id column of the companies here that is telling violating the foreign key constraint we have to pass the id from this table now present in this table so here we given a triple one for the company these details i'll change it to a triple one here run the script now returned successfully now I'll see the data here now you can see this ID is this employee ID is a triple one employee name then this ID refers to the company's table a triple one then the address one if you go to a triple one here you will get the details about the employees where he is working which companies he is working and which country situated now let's see what happens when we try to delete the record from the company's table currently the company's table having this data and a triple one is referred from the employees table here now we'll try to delete this record i'll go companies script delete script i delete from this table all the records run we can't delete this because id a triple one is still referenced from the table employees foreign key constraint violation because it is referred here we can't delete this to delete this we have to delete this record first from the employees we'll go to this employees check the record we will delete this record first it is referring this company table here go to delete script i'm not adding any condition we are deleting all the rows only one row is there oh, deleted now view data there are no data present now now we can delete the record from the company's table run the script now you can see returned successfully you can check the data 
the data is removed now there is no data in this lecture we have seen how to build a relationship between two tables